To service the seals on the 2SF series pumps, one seal kit is required. To service the seals, use a 6mm Allen wrench to remove the 6 hex socket head screws. To remove the manifolds, place a flat tip screwdriver between the inlet manifold and the crankcase and pry away from the crankcase to create separation. Completely remove the manifolds by hand. Next, separate the discharge manifold from the inlet manifold. This can be done by hand. Please note that the discharge valve adapters may stay in either the inlet manifold or the discharge manifold. To gain access to the high pressure seals, the discharge valve adapters must be removed from the manifold. Using a reverse pliers, use a twisting motion and pull adapters away from the manifold. Inspect the discharge valve adapter o-rings for cuts, nicks, or damage. Using a pick, remove the discharge valve adapter o-rings. These O-rings are found in the seal kit. To remove the high pressure seal, use a flat tip screwdriver and place in the small notch located under the high pressure seal and pry away from the manifold. Inspect the inside and outside diameter of the high pressure seals for wear or any other signs of damage. To access the low pressure seals, the inlet valve assemblies and ceramic plungers must first be removed. Using a pliers or side cutters, remove the cotter pins. Next, use a 10mm hex wrench to remove the slotted hex nuts. Remove the conical washers, springs, inlet spacers, inlet valves, and ceramic plungers from each plunger rod. The low pressure seal can then be removed by hand. Inspect the inner garter spring, inside diameter, and outside diameters for wear or damage. Prior to seal reassembly, check the plunger rod sealing surface where the low pressure seal sits for any signs of damage. Verify the seal retainers are in proper position as shown. Next, inspect the high pressure sealing surfaces on the inlet manifold for damage. Turn the inlet manifold over and inspect the low pressure sealing surfaces for damage. Place the inlet manifold on a flat surface with the crankcase side facing upward. Lubricate and install the low pressure seals into the inlet manifold with the garter spring facing down. Slide the inlet manifold with low pressure seals over the plunger rods. Before reinstalling, inspect the ceramic plungers for scoring or other signs of damage. Install the ceramic plungers with the deeper bore facing away from the crankcase. Next. Install the inlet valve with the flat side facing the ceramic plunger. Insert the inlet spacer with a smaller diameter into the inlet valve. Ensure the spacer is properly seated. Position the inlet valve spring over the plunger rod. Install the conical washer with the concave side towards the valve spring and hand thread the slotted hex nuts onto the plunger rods. Use a 10 mm wrench to tighten the hex nuts and torque to specification. If the hex nut slot does not line up with the hole in the plunger rod, tighten further to ensure proper installation of the cotter pin. Insert the new cotter pins and bend pin ends over. Next, install the new high pressure seals into the inlet manifold with the metal backing facing into the inlet manifold. To seat seal completely, 
Use a discharge valve adapter without O-rings as a tool to drive the seal into the inlet manifold. Replace O-rings on the discharge valve adapters as supplied in the seal kit. Before reinstalling, lubricate the O-rings on the discharge valve adapters. Insert the flat end of the discharge valve adapter into the discharge manifold and press into place. Exercise caution not to cut or pinch the O-rings. Next, install the discharge manifold assembly into the inlet manifold and press into place. Last, install the six socket head screws. Using a 6mm Allen wrench, tighten, and torque specification. <laughs>